Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a fin jig alignment. If you remember from the rocket design guide, a fin jig alignment will help you glue your fins on evenly and straightly. Um, it looks like here they use some type of plastic, but what you can do is when you create the drawing for your fin jig alignment, you can cut out some cardboard and it does the same thing and cardboard is usually free. So in this example right here, you can see that there are four fins. So each of these fins are going to be 90 degrees apart. In this example, we will also use four fins because that's what I have in my design. So let's get started. We're going to use Fusion 360 and we're going to start off by creating a sketch. You click on this arrow right here and click on Create Sketch. You can click on any of these planes. I'm going to start off by using the X and Y plane. And let's start off by looking at the body tube diameter. So I have my open rocket model opened right here. So right now the outer diameter of my body tube is 2.64 inches. So I'm going to go over here, create a circle by clicking on these buttons, create a circle that is 2.64 inches in diameter. So 2.64 inches. Hit enter twice and there you have it. I'm going to zoom out a little. I'm going to create, there's multiple ways you can do this, but I'm going to create a construction line that follows this green line and a red line. Kind of like an axis that I can click on. But you want to make sure that you hit construction when you're creating these axes. This makes sure that it doesn't show up in your drawing. So I'm going to create a Y axis. And then I'm going to see how it's kind of being weird and it's just following along this bottom line right here. So I'm going to hit the escape button. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit line. It looks like I have construction selected and I'm going to create an X axis. This kind of helps me. You can do it however you want, but this helps me. I'm going to hit escape so I escape out of that tool and I'm going to unclick construction so that my future lines aren't a construction line. Um, now I'm going to fix these lines. See how these lines can move? That's, that's not what I want it to do. I want it to be on that green line. So I'm going to hit control Z. I'm going to hit this line, click this line. I'm, see this constraints? We're going to scroll down until we see fix. We're going to fix this line so it doesn't move. That's what fix stands for. And we're going to do the same thing for the x-axis. We're going to click on it and we're going to hit fix. Now if I try and move this line, it won't move. It just it stays in place. All right. Now let's, each of these lines represent my fins. So let's start off by creating where my fins will be glued in place. So I'm going to create a line, a rectangle, looks like this. And I know that that rectangle, this is the thickness of my fin. So when I measured my fin, let's see, let's go to fins. When you buy fins, it says 0.25 inches. So the thickness of my fins will be 0.25 inches. So let's go dimension that. We know the thickness is going to be 0.25 inches. All right. Now I want this rectangle, I want my fins to be right here, right along this line. So I'm going to dimension this line over to the y axis. And I'm going to say that's 0.25 divided by 2. Now we know that it's centered right here, perfectly where it needs to be. I am now going to hit sketch and create a point. I'm going to put a point right where this dotted line meets the circle. So I'm going to tell you why. So if I dimension this dotted line out to the end of this rectangle, that's going to be the height 
represent the height of my fin. However, you don't want it to be the height. You want it to be like the height minus one inches because when you have a fin jig alignment, you don't want it to slide right through your fins. You want it to lay on top of your fins. So the height of my fin is 2.181 2.181 inches. So I'm going to say 2.181 minus one inches. And that's going to represent my fin jig alignment where this will sit on my fins. All right, we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to create a point. I'm going to put it right here. Zoom out a little. Wow, I made that really big, didn't I? All right, we're going to dimension it so that this line, oops, hit dimension. We're going to mention this line up to this point again. We're going to say that is 2.181 minus 1 inches. There you go. Now you're going to do the same thing to the x-axis. We're going to start off, create a rectangle. We're going to dimension it. We know the thickness of our fins. Let's zoom in here. You know the thickness of our fins is going to be 0.25 inches and we want it to this rectangle to be centered with this line so we're going to say this line to here is 0.25 divided by 2 there we go the rectangle is centered let's put points on again right where that middle line and circle intersect and let's do it the same thing over here that point in where the circle and dotted line intersect. And now let's dimension it. It's the same thing as before. We know the height of our fin is going to be 2.181 and then we subtract about one inch off so that the fin jig alignment can sit on our fins and not slide right through. All right, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We'll click on this point, out to this line. Oops. 2.181 your minus 1. Your height might be different. It might be 3, it might be 4 inches, but I would usually subtract 1 inch off it, 0.75 inches off it. And there you go. And this is what it looks like so far. It's kind of messy. So we're going to extrude this drawing so that you can, extru sorry, extrude the sketch so that we can create a drawing and print it out on paper so that you can later cut it out on cardboard. So we're going to hit stop sketch. We're going to hit create. Now when we hit create, we're going to click on each, see how each of these shapes get highlighted we're going to click on each of these shapes so that we can extrude it so just go ahead click on all of them so that it's all highlighted blue so we're going to hit remember hit this button then hit all these shapes and we're going to extrude it to about I'm going to do 0.25 inches it's pretty good general dimension and now we can create a drawing from this. So to create a drawing, you hit model, drawing, and you're going to hit from design. You can create new from scratch, standard. You can leave all these settings in inches. Uh, to save you some money, you can do an A size paper. But if you have a really big rocket, you're going to want to use B size paper, but since my rocket's not too big, I'm going to use an eight and a half by eleven inch piece of paper, and then you're going to click OK, and it's going to load. Give it a second to load. It's thinking. <laughs> All right, so now I get to place this wherever I want. However, if you look at the scale. It's at half the ratio that it needs to be. We want it to be a one-to-one -one ratio so that when you print it out, it's the dimensions that it needs to be. Now that the scale is one-to-one, -one, we're going to place this right here. 
and we're going to hit OK. And there you have it. Now you can save this as a PDF file and print it out, glue it on some cardboard, and then cut along these lines, which we'll show in a different video. So let's save it as a PDF file, um, all sheets. I'm going to save it as fin jig example one. And there you have it. Go ahead and print this paper out and then we'll show you in the next video how to actually cut out the fin jig alignment.